Imagine five acres on the water with 213 feet of frontage, three structures totaling up over 24,000 square feet of interior space. Backyard that's unlike any other, filled with amenities like a tennis court, full-size basketball court, and not one, not two, but three pools. So over the last few days, we got a chance to tour this insane property, hung out with the owner and his friends, and the experience was unlike anything we've ever had before. Seeing this experience was unlike anything we've ever had before is an understatement. We were invited to Florida by the owner and his close friend Super Buddha, a famous contemporary artist. From the plan of touring a house and doing a walkthrough, this turned into an experience with so much more. We got to learn about the lives of the people behind these homes, the things they're passionate about, and what makes them who they are. We're so blessed to do this, so we have to give in 110%. We got a chance to loosen up a little bit, lose the suit, invite some friends, and our experience can only be described as... <laughs> spectacular. So, welcome to Clearwater, Florida, and let's begin our tour. Steven is coming down right now. He sits over there like a godfather, you know? Just like, look at the tree, look at the state, look at the elevation here. It's just good energy, good vibes. Competitive days are back. Chance game is on. This at one point was a battlefield. That's why they have a watchtower. You really like painting here. I paint my best paintings in Steven's houses because the energy is so great. We wanted to tour this property to truly get a sense of the energy from the ground and try to convey it to you in this video. All right, everyone, once again, welcome to Clearwater, Florida. I'm so excited for this tour. Property is insane, backyard is crazy, and we had so much fun over the last few days. We can't wait to show you all the activities we've done on this property. Now, welcome to the exterior. This property is lined with these beautiful mature trees, tall fence walls, so it's super private, and we have four gates opening up to this property. Now, the reason for that is we have the main house right in the center, guest houses on each side. They were acquired later on, and they were all joined together. That's why these driveways actually extend out to each property and we have this massive five acre compound. I can't talk enough about this property. Come on, let's talk about the exterior. Now, we have few garages here. This staircase goes up to the guest wing where we have three bedrooms. Half of our team is staying on this side and we actually have a garage door here opening up to a really unique space. They have a car lift. And in the past, a Formula One driver used to own this property, and this is where he was keeping his Formula One car. How crazy is that? Apparently he could fit three Formula One cars in there. If you look at it, the lift is like stepped, so uh, it's wild. We've never seen anything like that. It's wild. This long driveway, massive motor court, covered entry. House was originally built in 1915, and over the years, it's been through major remodels and additions, and. That's what we're looking at today. Even the guest houses are kind of unified. So it looks like a one structure or one compound. Houses all concrete, green roof tile, copper flashing and copper gutters. And the style of this home is mixed between a Mediterranean style and has some colonial qualities to it as well. Like with the overhangs, these exposed roof rafters and a lot's going on here. I'm all over the place today. This house reminds me a lot of that home y'all toured in Maui, the most expensive in Hawaii. The green roof, uh, the exterior, something that has covered that, entry. Yeah, it has that same same kind of vibe to it, but uh, it's uh, it's pretty crazy. I agree, and that was a really nice property, also. Now, what's left? We have the covered entry here, front door on this side. Let's go in. All right, here we are at the entry. Stained glass front door, marble floors. The staircase curves up beautifully to the second floor, which we'll see later. And off of the entry, you have French doors opening up to the amazing views, which again, we'll check out later. Now, I wanna take everybody this way. First place we're gonna to tour is this formal seating area, two chairs, built-in cabinetry, windows are facing the motor court, chandelier in the center with a medallion, nice little seating area. Now, follow me this way. This hallway takes you to some of the guest suites, car garages, it goes on and on and on. And I unfortunately cannot tour every single room in this house because we will be here forever. We have 20 bedrooms, which is insane. But next, we're gonna tour the kitchen. All white cabinetry, dark countertops. We have a massive island in the center, bar seating, French doors open up to the outside, casement windows, amazing views. And turning this way, fridge, freezer, 
And I think I'm gonna talk about this, Mikey. So every single morning, owner is making us this coffee mix. It's coffee, honey, cinnamon, and cacao. Yeah. Mixed all together, boiled up. It tastes incredible. Uh, he's really into healthy lifestyle and uh, it's really refreshing. Before we move on, this is as good of a spot as any to talk to the man behind the house and learn a little bit about what makes it so unique and special. My name is Dr. Stephen Hess. I'm a physician here in the state of Florida, and this is my home in beautiful Clearwater, Florida. Now the property is about five acres, and it's three houses, three pools, a full-size basketball court, full-size tennis court, a watchtower, which is a very unique thing to a property that was here when the old Fort Harrison was actually on the property. It's quite amazing, yes. I think I'm gonna bring this habit to our lifestyles now, Mikey. I've never had anything like this. It's like almost like a like something you would have over the holidays. It's like this like cinnamony kind of spicy drink. It's great. Absolutely, highly recommend. And yeah, we have the gas cooked up here. This crazy gas stove assembly. It's like a version of La Cornu. And look at all the cooktops here. It looks so rustic, but I gotta say it's probably like 100 grand. Yeah, I've never really seen anything like that. What is a, what is a brand? AGA? AGA? Uh, I've never heard of it. I think this is the first time we're seeing this brand. Yeah. But yeah, looks pretty crazy. Some built-in Gagano appliances, access to an hallway here that goes to the back of the property, two dishwashers, sink, amazing views. And yeah, this is the kitchen. Now, next to the kitchen is the informal dining area. There's also a nice wine cellar over there that leads you to the formal dining room. So you can either take that route or take this route right here, which again, takes you to the formal dining room. Massive table in the center, seating for 10. Again, look at all the plaster and molding details here. Ceiling medallion, chandelier, wainscoting. This crazy cabinet over there with all gold leaves and details. And it's pretty crazy. You have a marble fireplace here. Another chandelier above me. And yeah, this is the formal dining room. Looks out at some uh, crazy views. Actually, right outside that door last night, we had an interesting evening uh, having some hibachi. Uh, it was actually the owner's mom's birthday and they were kind enough to invite us. And let's just say it got a little wild. It's my mother's 88th birthday. We're gonna do a teppanyaki. The chef is very good and he does a lot of water gun sake. So I hope you guys are ready. how excited I am. Like, I love the box. The balloon artist. A little bit off-brand, but it was a good time, you know? It is what it is. Yeah. We had a lot of fun. And yeah, that's it for the dining room. Following me this way. Back to the entry, again, marble floors. And there are a lot of art pieces here. This cool tiger sculpture. There's an amazing Buddha sculpture made by Super Buddha. Now that we've introduced you to the owner, Steven, let's talk about the other person responsible for bringing us to this house, Super Buddha. What's going on, guys? Thanks for coming out here to uh, Clearwater, Florida. So my name is Super Buddha, and I am a contemporary artist. I was uh, born and raised born in Venezuela, raised in Shanghai, China. And now I find myself in Miami where I create most of my work that goes around the world. Over the few days that we stayed here, Super Buddha was a constant source of Zen in the backyard. And later in the tour, he even let us sit with him and experience the creation of one of his pieces. I would say Super Buddha, he follows the vibes of his name and a lot of peaceful things, a lot of good energy, good vibes, just wishing the best for people, doing things in a healthy manner and just all about good energy. And we'll talk about him, I guess, later in the tour. Yeah. French stores opening up to the views. I can't get over it. Like the amount of water frontage we have with this property and how every single room has this like a movie like backdrop. And it's just not the water view, it's the elevation also. The way we're situated on this lot is, is pretty special. And uh, again, backyard is insane. We'll cover that later. Follow me this way. Now, another formal seating area, four chairs, ottoman in the center, marble fireplace, more of these views. You have hardwood floors, 
all these molding details. And on the other side, we have another seating area, L-shaped couch, TV. This property is crazy. Yeah, this, this is, is a, insanity. It's it's like a it's a strange mix of like a historical feeling home, but like it doesn't feel old for some reason. I think it's maybe because of the energy here and like the size of the lot and like uh, we just know how fun it is outside, you know. Also, our hosts have been amazing and they're kind of bringing a young, vibrant energy to this property. It's been an interesting mix. Well, and as you know, I've been a, a follower and a viewer for a very long time. I love the details, the way you talk about the houses, the property, the just the specifics that make the, pro, the, the, the house special. And just the shots, the aerial shots, it's just all so well done and you know, I just one of my favorite channels to watch and you know, you go around the world looking at the craziest of properties and it's always good to dream big. So you provide a channel where we could uh, see the glimpse in the lives of the other people that are doing really well. All right, follow me this way. Now we're on the landing, chandelier above, art piece in the center, and this landing takes you to three different rooms. First one is right behind me, which is a powder bathroom, vanity, vessel sink, toilet, custom wallpaper. This is the powder bathroom. Now right next door is the office. First off, Mikey, can we pan to the floors? This is an engraving of one of the previous owners of this property, he used to be a Formula One driver. We talked about his cars outside. Exactly. Yeah. And apparently he's done a lot of work to this property. Uh, some of the remodels were done by him. And welcome to this, when I say, Scarface office. Say hello to my little friend. Maybe Tiger King office. Tiger King office too. <laughs> I just love everything about it. It's like going into a museum, but it's very livable. And it's like all these chairs, molding details, these art pieces, this tiger pattern ha chair. Have, have a seat. It's insane. And I'm gonna have a seat here. Wow, I do feel like a boss. Even though chair is not perfectly centered, I'm gonna do that. There you go. This is a vibe, you know? Yeah, yeah. And uh, while we're here, let's talk about the specs of this property. So check this out. We have 20 bedrooms, 20 plus bathrooms, approximately 24,000 square feet of interior space. Main house is around 16,000 square feet. Combination of few properties, obviously. Um, on the market for $39,900,000. And I wanna give big thanks to the owner, Dr. Steven, and his friend, Super Buddha, for making this shoot possible. This is up there as one of the craziest properties we've ever toured. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. Link for this property will be in the description of this video. And come along, We're, we have more yeah, to come see. Come along for the ride. Yeah, that's right. Off of this landing, we also have the movie theater. Red carpet on the floors, as well as the red padding on the walls. All these molding details, coffered ceiling. We have the projector here, screen on this side. Again, talking about the Scarface experience, energy. I feel it in the movie theater as well, you know? Say hello to my little friend. We haven't really gotten the chance to hang out in here, but it's top of our agenda, you know? Exactly, hopefully, maybe tonight. Yeah, we actually got here, they had just finished watching Scarface in here, so. Uh, They're embracing that energy, you know? And I'm right. feeling it too. That's right. And yeah, you have recliner chairs, built-in speakers, beautiful textures, and this is your movie theater. Now, let's go back to the landing. We have this staircase here, taking us down to this lower section where we have the ballroom. Right in the center, you have this gorgeous piano, marble floors, two couches, great light coming in, chandelier above, and this is basically the entry point to the ballroom. Now, this ballroom is up there as one of the most impressive spaces we have ever seen on our channel. Look at the chandeliers above me, 35 foot high ceilings, same marble floors are also here, molding details, fireplace. This place is crazy. Back in the old days, about 100 years ago, the rich would come to Clearwater. There was a famous doctor that said if you drank from the actual Clearwater Springs, it would cure any ailment that you had. So Clearwater was a hot spot for the rich of that time period. And uh, this ballroom has hosted many famous people throughout the years, dignitaries, uh, military personnel, as well as presidents. Can you imagine that they built this room in 1915? how grand it was back then. It's still so grand. Yeah. That's 100 plus years ago. By the way, we have a lot of Versace details in this room as well. Are you seeing the Versace head right there? Window treatments, details, paneling. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy, we've never seen a place like this. You have these curved windows 
on the top section of the walls. That way you get natural light here. Follow me this way. There's actually a bar here, talking about a ballroom, right? Yeah. You gotta have one, island in the center. Actually, let me see if I can find them. I think the guys hit it because they thought we wanted the room all organized and clean, but I wanna show this to everyone. So I'm sorry, pictures. Oh, wow. You know what that reminds me of? Uh, the Godfather estate, like that office. True, true. Oh my God, you're so right. Yeah. This is the exterior of this property. Again, the main house was built in 1915, but over the years, they had a lot of additions. Harbor Oaks is the community that we're in, and this house is called Century Oaks. And let me see if there's any photos. Look how crazy this is. Yeah, that, that, that looks like a lot of fun, I'm not gonna and lie. That's the grid of the city right there. Crazy, huh? Yeah, it's really cool. And then you have a spiral staircase going up to a room on the second floor. It's currently empty, but that could be like an observation point, another bar, you know. A little office just to serve, office, survey your domain. You know? Exactly. Mikey, can we go back to the space again? I can't wrap my head around. And obviously, this house, some of its parts or some of its rooms are not really fully up to date. But there's so much potential with this property, what you can do with it. Not to mention the grounds, which we're gonna to tour next, but you have the volume, you have the history, you have the character, you have the access to the ocean. Uh, so I'm kind of excited to see what the next owner is gonna do with this property. Yeah. And this is also where we interviewed Dr. Steven and Super Buddha, since it's such a grand, iconic room. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the first floor. Now let's go outside so we can check out the grounds and the amazing backyard. So the house is very unique as it sits 50 feet above sea level, but then we have the amenities down by the water as well with two pools, the tennis court and the full-size basketball court as well. But it's just so unique to have the home this high up in a state that's totally flat because you actually don't even need flood insurance up here. So it's very unique and unheard of for this area. So the back of this property is insane. That's the word I'm gonna use. That's the only way I can describe it. Follow me this way, outdoor dining area, nicely covered. We have French doors opening up from the kitchen, formal dining room, and that's the entry foyer. And coming here, we have these high chairs. And this is where you just sit down, enjoy these views, look at your backyard, look at your grounds, and uh, this is crazy. It's, it has a very zen vibe back here, you know? It's very relaxing. That's true. But the reason I'm saying it's crazy is because look at the frontage. Yeah. Look at the view corridors. Look how high up we are. We're about 50 feet above elevation. And it's like waterfront is such a valuable aspect of any property, right? And when you have this much frontage, it's just a lot to take in. I'm out of words. Like I'm going down there. We're, we're going to tour this entire backyard. I'm going to walk to every corner of it. And we have this main walkway that takes you to another observation point. We have 300 plus year old trees all around this property. Are you yeah. seeing this? Yeah. So a lot of developers in LA are always, are always flexing on their oak trees. They're like, we planted oak trees, but. This is a real one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. These, are, these are natural, these are the real deal. <laughs> exactly. Someone planted these like 350 years ago and now you can uh, reap the benefits of them, you know? Let's just walk this way for a second. Unbelievable. I'm out of words. I feel like Godfather on this property, just walking around, you know? It's just like, look at the staircase here. It doubles up on the bottom, takes you to your main pool. I mean, I don't know if this is a tour or a reaction video or something in between. It's wild, it's wild. We'll get down there in a little bit though. Absolutely. All right, Mikey, let's turn this way. We have a jacuzzi on this level. Great spot for you to kick back, relax, just enjoy the scenery. I like that it's elevated so you can see the property a little bit better. This is also where Super Buddha was painting the other day. It's kind of a nice spot. And yeah, it was a lot of fun talking to him. One of my favorite parts of this entire experience was getting to spend some time with Super Buddha, learning his process, and watching him paint in this incredible backyard. I heard you don't let people watch you when you paint. Is that true? That is correct. You know, man, I just, I've never been much of a, like one of those guys that like to live paint in front of people for their own amusement. You uh -huh. know? I rather keep this part of my life as private as I can because it's a very, you know, intuitive moment for me while I do this. And it's very personal. It is, and I'm channeling, you know, all of this is made up from scratch. 
it all goes just from the heart. I start with some colors, I start with some splatter, and then I start incorporating words, imagery, and usually all that stuff is, is just channeled, you know? My client, my friend, I get a feel for him and I let the work speak for itself, you know, so he can relate to the piece. But it's true. I never let anybody really sit here like you and watch me paint. <laughs> As we dive more into high-end assets, I feel like I'm learning more and more about art culture. So it's really interesting for me to see the points of inspiration for him and how he approaches his art. When I met you, you told me that um, you really like painting here. What's about this spot within this property that you like? Honestly, I'm very um, nature inclined. So the salt water, mm -hmm. the breeze, the smell, the birds, the greenery. If you can't get inspired here, then imagine. It's almost like a good grounds for you to be around and it just like let it almost like to a degree dictate the painting. I paint my best paintings in Steven's houses because the energy is so great, you know? Just hanging out with him and just the atmosphere is so great. There's many ways I could chime into this conversation. I'm just trying not to. <laughs> chime in? No, you have to. You have I'm, to, I'm a big fan of your chiming in. Yeah. He met me. He, he shook my hand. He was like, where's Mikey? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's so that, was a, that was a surreal moment for me. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, Inez is great, but where's Mikey? Yeah, where's Mikey? <laughs> what do you think, Inez? Should we get creative and paint something else? Good. So, I know Mikey brought this idea, but uh, I would love you to paint, spray paint the t-shirt that's on me right now. It's all white, oh it's calling your God. name. Let's do it. Most of the quotes that I do are self-meditated. Okay. So they're original. And I think I picked the quote for you, for the shirt. Okay. Having the opportunity to spend time with individuals that are behind these assets and having these kind of experiences is something that the team and I don't take for granted. Embrace it or the universe will take it. I like it, I like it. To some, it may just seem like a t-shirt, but to me, it's a physical representation of an experience that I'll never forget. He kind of puts this, this, this Zen energy out there. He just, he just brings some calm to the backyard, you know? Exactly, I love it, I love it. All right, Mikey, let's turn back so we can talk about this incredible property. Two-story structure, it was built in 1915. The section on the right-hand side is where we have the ballroom, which we toured earlier. Then coming this way, we have this balcony, and that's where the primary bedroom suite. You get phenomenal views from that side. Again, oak trees, beautiful lawn, this property. It's chef's kiss, it's beautiful. It's like icing on the cake. Absolutely. And with that, we're done with this section. By the way, there's also a kid's house on the left-hand side with an amazing rooftop, but we don't have time to tour that section, so we're gonna go to this side. Beautiful oak trees. And now, let's talk about the house on the other side. This is a seven-bedroom guest home. I can't believe I just said that. Seven bedroom. That is a lot of bedrooms for a guest home. A lot of bedrooms. Well, truth is, this is the main home, and over the years, this property acquired this property and they basically remodeled the exterior to blend in with the main house but this is actually a house on its own with its own lot which we're about to tour that's why the water frontage here is so insane well, i can't imagine before they oh. unified this property that, that would be an interesting property line cutting through this you know 20 plus bedrooms mikey yeah you have i think seven of them here i gotta try this swing you know i am uh let's just say on these tours i'm a little bit more controlled but this time I feel like this house calls for some action, you know? So. If this is, if this is some action, then it definitely calls this for is, This is a very, very sad action, but it feels good. I'm feeling the green energy, and this is the swing. Follow me this way. Now, we are on the right-hand side of the property. This bridge takes you to a pool house. Behind all this ivy, there's actually a really cool structure. Down below is where they hide their like pool utilities. And yeah, you have a pool house. View from that room is insane. I'm not even going in there, but it's insane. All right. Follow me this way. Now let's check out the first pool. It's definitely good size, white plaster, a lot of space around the pool. And I can't believe I'm saying this. This is the first pool. We have two more to see. Nicely elevated, views are fantastic. I mean, we're traveling all around the world to showcase these amazing homes. And I hope you guys are enjoying them. If you do, give us a like 
and consider subscribing to our channel. In fact, since we're here in Florida, we posted a story on Instagram inviting two of you guys to come join us on a dinner tomorrow night. That way you can come here, meet us in person, hang out at this property and have so much fun with us. Yeah, we haven't met these people yet, but- uh, We're but gonna pick them this afternoon. This afternoon, so I'm sure we'll cut in some footage here, see how that goes. There you go. And uh, with that, we're done with the pool. Now, let's check out the basketball court. I mean, it's crazy to me that you have a basketball court within your property, and your property also happens to be a waterfront home. Not to mention, I'm not an expert in this field, but this is a really big basketball court. This cannot be regulation. This is the biggest basketball court I've ever seen. <laughs> it's massive, it's lighted. You're what, 15 feet away from the ocean? Yeah, it's crazy. So, there has been a serious rivalry between Armand and Colin. It's time we settle this war once and for all. Colin versus Armand, let's see what happens. Shoot three pointer. If I miss it, I lose the game. Oh, I'm dead. That's it. I'm on one. He came through. I'm not gonna lie, he struggled a little bit, but like he grinded it out, he made it happen. Colin? I'm gonna have to see him next time though, so we'll see. This rivalry's not over. All right, I'm assuming you want me to try this? Uh, yeah, let's see what you got. Okay. Oh! Okay. That was not bad. Actually, that went better since than... I'm wearing pins today. Oh, there you go. There you go. I don't have my suit on, life's good. We're here in Florida. And next, we're touring the main pool. This space is phenomenal. I mean, look at the scale here. Light blue plaster, massive pool, diving board. And then behind that, we have a water feature. This is the main staircase that comes up from the main level to the pool area. I mean, it's just stunning. And we had so much fun here. This is just a phenomenal property. Yeah, it's, it's really incredible, the scale. And just the views you get from here are just stunning, you know? Absolutely, you're right in the center of your property. You have the ocean on the other side. And it actually gets better because right behind you, Mikey, we have an amazing outdoor bar, dual elevation, bar seating. You have the ocean, ice maker, fridge, dishwasher, sink, TV up top, and Clearwater, Florida. Yeah, this is, this is great. A lot of people might not know this. Ennis and I met a long time ago in Corpus Christi, Texas. Correct. Where I'm from. It's actually very similar to Tampa. I've never been to uh, Tampa before, but it's almost nostalgic being here because it's so similar to my hometown. The scale here is bigger, obviously, but in terms of the way the grounds and the air feel, yeah. pretty much the same. Pretty similar. I mean, overall, phenomenal space. This bar, this main pool, it's so much fun. We've been hanging out here the last few days and uh, I don't want to go back to LA. That's all I'm going to say. Today is all about the lifestyle. We had Frankie here. He has a way of showing his creativity and we have our way of showing our creativity. But regardless, today we're gonna have fun. A lot of fun. Life's good out here, boy. Full time with the boys. We had a great day. I mean, look at this property, dude. Look at this place. Steven is coming down right now. He sits over there like a godfather, you know? Just like, look at the tree, look at the state. <laughs> Look at the elevation here. It's just good energy, good vibes. All we're missing is the Versace ropes. Steven, Whoa, I've been telling them, you guys live a good life, but I think it all starts with the Versace rope. I'm getting one. I, I gotta embrace this lifestyle, you know? It's about to get really competitive. Colin and me versus I'm not against other Colin. So we're gonna see what happens. Other Let's Colin. go. Other Colin. <laughs> Game, come on. He's gonna hammer hard. Oh, you got this. Oh. 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 Good game, come on. Let's go on. Oh. 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 We got done with the basketball court. We had to take it over to the tennis court. I don't play tennis, but I had to get my revenge against Armand. Me and Ennis had to, had to put it down for the one time. That's right. Yes, sir. The competitiveness in me got out, and uh, Armand against me, and I think I won, oh but uh, it was a good day, good workout. And yeah, this is your lighted tennis court. Now, here's where it's gonna get really crazy. Mikey, let's turn this way. You see the staircase right there? Yeah. That lends to a little, uh, almost like a patio. Yeah. Right by the water. 
This property used to be a military fort. Uh, there were over actually 500 men stationed here back in 1841, and this was actually called the Fort Harrison at that time. And it was named after the president at that time, which was Harrison as well. This at one point was a battlefield. That's why they have a watchtower. How crazy is that? I was wondering what the watchtower was all about. This is the closest I've been to it since we've been here. That's funny as that sounds. They actually have a plaque over there. I'm curious what it says. Hark, the number soft and clear, gently steal upon the ear. Now louder and yet louder rise, and fill with spreading sound the skies. Ode to St. Cecilia, Pope. As a tribute to the valor of the officers and soldiers of Fort Harrison, which stood near this spot, these chimes and this, what is that word? Camp, camp, campanile? Campanile. 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 Campanile were erected, AD 1925. Crazy. It's wild. All right, let's walk in. Well, they're currently storing their tennis equipment here. But, yeah. Uh, this is a crazy structure. Mike, you and I are going up there. Yeah, head up. All right, let's go. So this is the first landing point. Pretty crazy. It is a legit watchtower. This is all concrete, by the way, just like the rest of the house. And this is not it. We have another level. All right, I'm just gonna try to follow you up. This isn't the easiest thing to film. Follow me, let's go. You and I are doing this, Mikey. Everybody's gonna see this watchtower. Oh my God, we have a patio here. Wow. This is crazy. Crazy. Okay, this is really cool. Wow. These are pretty fantastic. Yeah, this is insane. And again, this is just like my hometown. <laughs> Unbelievable. You know what's crazy? We have another stairs. Oh, we gotta go up another one? All right, let's go. Wow. They have air conditioning up here. Oh, wow. And recess lights. This is the beauty of this property. You know, this is all grandfathered in. You can keep it. You can never, ever build something like this in the state of Florida. A four-story tower right by the water, no one's gonna let you do that. And because you have it and we're out of breath right now, you can remodel this. You can enclose this and make it a good usable watchtower to yourself. A little movie theater, you know? <laughs> you know, opportunities are endless. This is the property. All right, let's go back there so we can check out the guest house by the water. I can't believe it, but this property continues. This is a driveway private driveway that connects to the motor court. That way you can drive your car all the way to this point. This guest house has an amazing pool. Grounds are stunning. Look at the staircases behind us. Look how grand that is. It's very classical. This reminds me of something you would see in France. It has like a, I don't want to keep referencing our episode we did in France, Palais, Palais Venetian, Venetian. But it kind of has that aesthetic. Well, from a fun perspective, I think it reminds me of the property in Texas. Yeah. The one that we recently toured, but again, Grand staircases, water features, sculptures, grounds, greenery, all these trees. It's phenomenal. It's, it's honestly, I'm in awe. Like, I'm out of words. All right, now, let's check out the guest house. Yeah, the house that you guys are staying in this weekend, it was actually the card room with the his and hers card room on each side. And it's seen the likes of Marilyn Monroe, Joe DiMaggio, Jack Kennedy, JFK's father, and many other famous dignitaries as well as presidents. Now, this guest home is around 3,000 square feet, three bedrooms, two baths, I believe, and this is where Mikey and I are staying. It's an interesting spot, but what's so impressive about this property or this structure is the fact that we are 10 feet away from the ocean. Yeah, we'll save that. We'll see that in a second. Crazy. Yeah, it's awesome. Cr it's crazy. Every Mike, night, it's not awesome. It's, it's right there. Every night I walk outside and I just stare at the water for like 10 minutes. It's great. Crazy. And uh, this is the living room. Massive TV, L-shaped couch, flooded with natural light. And uh, should we check out your room? This is my bedroom. All right. This has to be up there as one of the biggest bedrooms we have ever toured on this channel. Are you seeing the scale of it? It's very interesting, you know? Look, let's be honest. This wasn't built to be a guest home. Yeah. This was a game room basically back then for the house. Yeah. That's why your room and my room are identical and they're just massive. They're oversized. Now it's remodeled and turned into a bedroom and yeah, this is where Mikey stays. Insane. 
Now we have a full bathroom on the other side, walk-in shower, water closet and all that. It actually connects to the room next door, which is right here. And that's another bedroom suite. So that's number two. Now let's go this way. I mean, I'll be content just with this house alone. Dining area here, this is where we get our work done, by the way. I keep thinking about like, you know, I wonder if you would just sell this property. You can, you can just sell this APN. Remember the lot up front? Yeah. Yeah, it's a linear lot. You can just sell this APN. In fact, I think the owner was asking $8 million just for this plot. Well. And the crazy part is, and this is what I'm trying to uh, explain to everyone. This is grandfathered in. You can never build a home this scale, this close to the water ever again. But because you have it and you maintained it, you can remodel it and keep it forever. So the upside here is you keep this house, up there you build another house. Yeah. So you get two houses on one lot. There are some structures in LA that are grandfathered in. If you wanted to fully remodel this house, could you leave just a couple walls up and basically gut it and rebuild it? Now, this is where it gets really interesting and there's a little bit of a gray area there, but for the most part, as long as you don't touch the structure, you can remodel the interior. Yeah. You know, I don't know if they will allow you to make the openings bigger, put bigger sliding glass doors, but you can really bring it up to code just like the space here. There's a term for that in LA, right? It's like a one, one wall. One wall. One, yeah. What Mikey's saying, a lot of times developers in LA would buy a house, they would tear it down, but leave one wall up. Yeah. So it's considered as remodel. Yeah. And that's how they kind of navigate around some of the rules because as soon as it's new construction, you have to provide warranties and different stuff. They all say, well, it's a remodel. And they will literally leave one wall up. Nice little loophole. And it is a loophole, exactly. All right, kitchen on the other side, nice and straightforward, white cabinetry, granite countertops. There's a laundry room on the other side. But before we go outside, follow me this way. Let's check out my room. I mean, Again, let's just say that was his side. This is her side. It's massive. We have two full beds here. And this is where I've been sleeping. By his and hers, he means gambling rooms, you know? Correct. Yeah. And uh, there's a walk-in closet here. What an interesting day it has been. Give me a review of sleeping in this room. Super comfortable. Yeah. Quiet, by the ocean. Yeah. Anyways, this is the bedroom number three. Now, let's go outside. Let's do it. Now, this is where it gets really interesting. House. The ocean. It's insane. What was that? 18? Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. And you have your first dock here, boat lift, jet ski lifts and all that. And then you keep walking. Basically, this is your water retaining wall. And then you have a secondary fence wall. So talking about floods and hurricane, this house is protected. This is all concrete. Yeah. Heavy and duty concrete. The owner said because of the elevation of the property and this protective wall, he doesn't even need flood insurance, right? Crazy, in Florida. Yeah, it's crazy. Amazing, right? Mikey, let's walk. It's an interesting walk. Yeah. Really interesting, huh? I actually haven't gone this way yet. So, that's the observation point right there. And we have an American flag and a Colombian flag because owner also has properties in Colombia. He likes it out there. So it's a nice little mix. And yeah, you have another dock. This is your second dock and it's just crazy. Bring a massive boat here. I believe one of the previous owners used to keep a 74 foot uh, Sunseeker here. Really? So yeah, that's amazing. And uh, wow, what a crazy day it's been. 213 feet of frontage, access to water left and right. Look how far we are from the main house. Look how massive this watchtower is. It blows my mind away that something like this exists. And uh, with that, we're not done with our tour. We gotta go all the way back to the main house, go to the second floor, so we can check out the bedrooms and the primary bedroom suite. Here we are on the second floor landing, chandelier in the center, Versace carpet throughout this level, minus the bedrooms. It's a nice, interesting touch. And now uh, let's start with the first bedroom, which is on this side. Marble floors, king size bed. All these windows are facing the front of the property and the Versace theme continues. Look at the walls. Look at all the moldings and window treatments. Pretty crazy. This is pretty bold. I don't know if we've seen- Super a, bold. Seen a bedroom suites quite, quite like this before. Mm -hmm. We have not. Yeah. And of course you have a full bathroom, marble floors, walk-in shower, mosaic walls. This is the first bedroom suite. Now, back to the landing. We have another bedroom here with its own bathroom. Then around the corner, we have another one. This one also has king size bed. 
A lot of these bolder tones are also here with the wallpaper, window treatment. And again, like I said earlier, we have 20 bedrooms in this house. We cannot tour every single one of them. This will be a two hour tour. So that's why we're giving you guys a quick overview. Bedroom, and, uh, bedrooms are nice, but there's more, there's more exciting things to focus on here. You exactly. Know? And uh, coming back to the landing again, staircase, chandelier, Versace carpet. And uh, what's left is the primary bedroom, shall we? Let's do it. All right, it starts here. The scale of this room is insane. We have hardwood floors, seating area off of the entry with a travertine coffee table in the center. Of course comes with a fireplace, TV, a lot of art pieces in this room. And going this way, we have this open section in the center, French doors leading you to the balcony. But first I want to pivot everybody to this side so we can check out the bed itself. King size, of course, bedside tables. You have all these casement windows with these crank mechanisms. That way you can let fresh air come in and you can enjoy these crazy views. Yeah, this is insane. Uh, again, the elevation of this property is something we haven't seen in Florida. Florida's an extremely flat state, so I feel like this is rare. Couldn't agree more. And yeah, these views are just insane. Now, Mikey, let's pivot this way. We see in the bedroom seating area. We're gonna check out the balcony in a bit, but first let's cover the bathroom, which starts on this side. You have two vanities, natural stone countertops, this massive built-in jetted tub right next to the windows, TV. It's pretty grand. And of course at the back, we have a walk-in shower with a steam feature, water closet. This is the bathroom. Pretty big. All right, let's check out the closet. The owner is currently occupying the property. That's why we're gonna see his clothes in this closet. First thing I wanna mention is the Louis Vuitton carpet. I didn't know they made carpets. Uh, I've never seen that. I wonder if you have to get this custom made, if you have to call the Louis Vuitton people and say, I need a carpet for my closet. That's right. Hook it up. Looks good, contrast is nicely with the white cabinetry. You have some open shelving, shoe racks. Obviously, it's a pretty good sized closet. Goes all the way to the back. You have the other side as well. Now, let's go back to the bedroom so we can check out that balcony, Mikey. Let's do it. We're a little bit more elevated here. Our views are fantastic. You have these chairs, you sit down, you relax, you soak it all in. Beautiful landscaping. I mean, look at your backyard. This is incredible. Yeah. And this is kind of like your observation point of the entire property, you and know? Again, uh, I know we already said this, but the weather here is fantastic today. Fantastic. Uh, yeah, I, I didn't expect Florida to be this temperature, uh, you know, it's fantastic. great. And uh, I gotta say, this is a bit of a unique property considering the other properties that we toured in the past, but the potential here is truly endless. You know, you have all these massive structures that are grandfathered in. You have 213 feet of water frontage and all of it coming together. And with the right vision, this property can turn into one of the most amazing homes in Florida, if not around the world. And I'm glad we came all the way to Clearwater, Florida so we can tour it in person and share it with all of you. The thing about life and the thing, people that have money, money can always be made. It's the experiences in life that we really take with us. That's why being at this mansion and being a part of it, being an owner, it's something that it's, it's been very uh, a magical journey in the sense that all these experiences, watching your kids grow up here, watching them swinging from the 300 year old oak trees, play on the basketball court, they're just things that are always going to be with me, memories that I'll never lose. Money comes and goes, as everyone knows, you can always make it, but one of the things you're never gonna get back is time. So it's the experiences that really count, and that's why the next person that's going to be the next owner of this home is, is very blessed in the sense that they're going to have magical moments, magical memories that they won't be able to create at other properties. I feel like we've never really done a video quite like this one. It was incredible to not only tour the house, but get to spend as much time as we did with the people behind the home. So I really hope you enjoyed it. All right, everyone, that's it from Clearwater, Florida. Hope you all enjoyed this tour and let us know in the comments below what do you think of this property. Now I want to give big thanks to Dr. Steven and Super Buddha for making this tour possible. And as always, you can find more information about this property in the description of this video. Lastly, if you enjoyed the tour, give us a like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.
primary bedroom suite, which is insane. You get phenomenal views, which we'll see later. And coming back, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Bro! I knew, oh my god, dude, I knew, he, he's so hard. I knew you couldn't, I knew you couldn't, I knew you couldn't get through it. Bro, I couldn't hold, I'm sorry. You gotta make it real.